Honing your prophetic gift is something I've always encouraged. Studying a gift, developing your gift. To have a gift is one thing. To be able to use your gift is a totally different thing. And to be able to have longevity in your gift is an entirely different thing altogether. And we're going to ha be having a new class here at Streams Ministries. And John Thomas has written it, and he's going to be teaching it. And he's joining us here today, and it's called Practical Prophetic. John, glad to have you here today. Hey, thanks for having me. John's been on staff with us at, at Streams. He's been up in New Hampshire with us. He's been down here in Dallas with us. He's taught the classes all over. And I have to say, this is one of the young men that I would consider a spiritual son who really has the heart, not only the heart of what this ministry is about, but even more importantly, he has a heart of what the kingdom of God is all about and the necessity to develop your gifting. So you wrote this course called Practical Prophetic. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about this. What caused you to write this? What, what was there that said, we, get, we need to teach this? Well, I was pastor in the church that you started up in Natick, Massachusetts, right. in Bridge Metro West. Mm -hmm. And we had prophetic teams. We were doing prophetic teams after church. We were doing outreaches. And I would have people come up to me and say, okay, so what's next? There's, yeah. there's got to be more than just giving prophetic words. I realized there was no real training about that. And so I started to search it out and to understand how to give them the next step. So you're saying it's not just a moment where you give a word. It's, it's a life where you, it, that word can happen at any moment if you live a lifestyle that, that is commensurate with that. It's not just coming to church on Sunday, but you actually can give a word on Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday to different people. Yes. Is that right? Yeah. And, it, and it's not just the, the giving of the word, but it's the being the word. Oh, that's good. What, what, what is it like to live out a life that is prophetic instead of making the prophetic something that we do? How, how can we be a prophetic people? Yeah. And what does that look like? What do you need to know to... to agree with that process. So what are some of the things you're going to be teaching along that line? I know for myself, I've watched a number of people come, through, come and go through prophetic ministry over the years. And one of the things that, that, that young prophetic ministries especially will stumble at is that they don't recognize that everything that happens to them isn't always about them. Sometimes it's about the church they're going to speak at. So you're, you're talking about being, being a prophetic word. Right. So what some of the things you'll be teaching in this course? Well, I'm going to be talking about that. How do you recognize when something that happened to you is, is actually about some place that you're going? How do you separate in, in understanding the experience you had when it's talking to your gift and when it's talking to you? And how do you, how do you then take what you had and give it in such a way that you're not just relaying information, but you're conveying the heart of the Father? Whew. Very important for you that are that are young in this, or even for the, for you that have been fairly well seasoned in the prophetic. You're going to be this type of teaching is going to be invaluable, invaluable to you. Okay, so would you say the class is for who? Beginners, advanced, uh, like intergalactic type <laughs> prophetic people? <laughs> who, who would you say it's for? Well, it, it's it was it was intended for people that had been around the prophetic that was looking for a little bit more. Maybe they've operated in the gift of prophecy, but they're recognizing that all can prophesy, but some are prophets. And what does yeah. that look like? And so it's intended for that. But I did it in such a way, having pastored the church, that anybody could come to it. Yeah. And it's really more intended for those that are going to the next place. So if, if you're beginning, it's something you need to know because you're going to have, you're going to go this direction. Right. And if you've already been doing it for a while, it's something you need to know in order to, to help give some type of, uh, may, some people may need a mid-course correction in what yeah. they're doing. Some people, this may be the missing ingredient to, to, their, to their gifting. Yeah. You know, there's one thing to have a moment where you prophesy. There's another thing to have longevity longevity in your gift. And I think pro this course on Practical Prophetic is one of the things that you need to watch as, as you're uh, trying to grow in your gift, study your gift, become more uh, honed in your gift. You know, that's Hebrews 5.14. You have your senses exercised, the gift exercised by reason of use. One of the, one of the issues of reason of use is using it correctly. Uh, 
I tell a lot of young people, you can, it's, and you, you've heard me say this, it's one thing to get invited to speak somewhere, it's a whole different thing to get invited back. What you're going to be teaching is, tells people, you, will get, you can get invited back yeah. if you learn some of the practical issues, not just the revelation issues, but the communication issues or proclamation right. issues. Yeah. And one of the other things I do in talking about being invited back is I talk about what are the tests that the Lord takes you through as you're advancing, because mm. those tests and how you respond to those tests determine whether you're the type of person that's going to be invited back, whether you're the type of person that people are entertained by or helped by. That's and great. Now say that one more time. Whether well, you're the type of person that is... That is entertainment, entertainment or someone that can help me. That right there is worth its weight in gold. This is what the people are going to think. Am I being entertained by this person or am I being helped by this person? Yeah. 